hi to all the puppies. Oh. You wanna play? Puppies. Hey. hey. I'm worried. I, oh my I, gosh. I know you want them all, right? I do. Uh, I, I can't do it. Okay, so are you a big sports ball fan? Oh, huge. You are? It, well, as are you, right? Because you love sports ball. So love it. <laughs> okay, ball. let's sit down. But wait, okay. can we really pause and pick up the crap? It's no. a real thing. No. No, no. Wait, you're right. We're it keeping... is right by your chair. I just meant. No, I'm I don't care. Sorry. I will smell dog this entire Look. show. Uh... Okay, so you love sports ball like me, but do, do you, does Jack watch? Your little boy? Does he yeah, watch? yeah, yeah. We both don't understand it. He might understand. He's seven. He, I think he understands it a little bit better than I do. Better than my kids. Yeah, my, yeah. I mean, there's these things. They're yards. I don't know. They seem there's like there's a yellow line that disappears. Yeah, there's like <laughs> flags that go down or whatever. But having said that, look at the little one holding it down. Hey, Kelly, I am your guest. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm so sorry. I got distracted. No, it's Fine. I, I just thought you'd be interested in what I have to say about your sports this ball. This dog is oh. climbing. <laughs> You're climbing He's up. He's not on my team. Are you wanting up? Are you wanting up here? Oh, no, I know. So y'all, so he doesn't really understand it, but he, oh, like, he's entertained okay. by it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, back. I know. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so no, is there... it is. It's it's just it's puppy distraction. It's, it is. It's amazing. It's, look at he's climbing you. Oh, you want to be yeah. a part of my team? I know. Okay, you're not though. She's yeah. fluff. No. Um, wow. Is there anything you felt? This is my a real question because I remember us talking on your podcast. I love unqualified, you and I remember. Yeah, I I loved it. And is there anything you felt like you were ill prepared? Prepared for with kids because there's so many for me. I mean, uh, to be honest, kind of nothing. nothing. No, no, no. That was a terrible delivery. Uh, ev <laughs> everything, and especially in Los Angeles, uh, there's a whole school system. I went to public school. I did too. Yeah, and boy, if you're trying to get your kids not in public school, it's like a. And they tell you even when you're pregnant here, like there'll be people that like creep into your lives that are like. Oh, well, you gotta like get enrolled now. And you're like, for what? For what? It's in my womb. Yeah. yeah. And like, like, what's wrong with it? And then it's like, well, but if you don't get him in the school, then he won't get into the college. It, it's and so... then he's just gonna fail in life. Oh, yeah. Right. And it's like, he's already going to fail in life. The school. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but you need something to need talk about to therapy. Spend a ton of money. <laughs> <laughs> to ensure this reality. Uh, it I is love crazy. You, Jack, wherever you are, I love you. I'm sure he's watching. Wherever you are, someone's but, watching my child. Yeah. They're fine. <laughs> oh. Whatever's happening inside this mitt feels soft and warm. And kind of sexy. Man, I need a boyfriend. That is the word on the street. <laughs> Maybe this bra is gonna change my whole dating life. Wearing it for a couple of days. Gotten any feelers? Just me for right now. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm hanging out with Anna Ferris, Rev Dan, and a whole yeah. bunch of cute puppies in honor of this weekend's big game. That was Anna in the show Mom, which you can see Thursdays on CBS. So Anna, the show is in its seventh season. That's awesome. Yes. Like to that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of seasons. Uh, you know, you're coming into like friends territory. Well, like, I mean, I feel like I could buy a small boat, <laughs> not like a friend's boat, but a, a small one. But a rowboat, like, you know, a like really a, good one. Yeah, like a, I don't know, a 19 footer or something. Yeah. Will you come on my boat? I would come on your boat. Let's do your. This is the podcast on your boat. I don't know how to pilot it. Like. I can actually drive a boat. Okay. Yeah. All right. I uh -oh. own a pontoon you gotta boat. Gotta call a foul. I'm sorry. Oh, uh oh. A yeah. foul. Puppy foul on the plane. Intentional growling. Okay. Yeah. You know what? Watch it over there. Sorry. Has yeah. to happen. Thank you, Dan, no for problem. keeping them in line. No problem. Come here. Yeah. Y'all pay it's attention this, over there. It's on Dante, your fave, too. Um, I actually really love Dante, and I'm very nervous. My husband no. is so nervous backstage. Um, we do not ego. need another dog. Dante's got an ego. The ego is too is too big. Look at him. I love him though. He's I know. fierce. Always he just fierce. wants it. Yeah. Okay. So I love that with Mom though. You actually tackle. It's a comedy, but you tackle some pretty dark issues. Yeah. Yeah, that's, do. <laughs> that's good, I think. As I laugh. Yeah. No, it, it's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I love it. death, addiction. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, but no, no, I, I, I love, I love doing the, the show. I love it that we get to take on. We, that we, it's a funny show, and that we get to be um, dramatic and real. And it seems to be really touching people, which is awesome. yeah, because it is real life situations, and it's you have to laugh at some point. Anybody struggling with anything, at some point you have to laugh and then build a bridge. Well, you just have to over. laugh yeah. at a funeral. That's what I always yeah. say. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I this is that actually so real. I either go like. Ugh. I don't even have to know the person. Like, I am just so sad, like at a funeral, or I get church giggles. Right. I get the giggles right. and I can't yeah. stop. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, I just get like a so uncomfortable. Like, what does this all mean? Oh, oh man. All headed there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Everything starts getting very dark. This is, I'm sure, what you guys all want to hear. Yeah, the, it's yeah. what they're all thinking. They're fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I was on your podcast and quote, oh, hello. And thank you for doing that. Come here. Um, I loved it though, but tell everybody what it's about. About. So Why is it I, called Unqualified? I do, uh, I do this podcast called Unqualified, and um, it's a relationship podcast, and we give people relationship advice, attempt to, because I'm really bad at it, because I don't know what I'm doing. But and I funny. wish I could swear, <laughs> because I would <laughs> emphasize that point yeah. even more, but, yes. uh, but maybe the dogs will. Is there anyone, though, that you feel like on your, because people always ask me now that I have a show, is there anybody, anyone I'm dying to have on? Is there anyone you're dying to have on your podcast? Little Kim. Look, him. I love you right now. <laughs> That's awesome. Like oh. most people would be like, <laughs> yeah, you guys can feel it. That's awesome. Oh. Why, look, him? I love this. Oh. Well, okay. The first, uh, the first red carpet I walked, um, it was for the MTV Movie Awards, and little Kim was right behind me, and she was just wearing, um, what do they call those things? Pasties. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Pasties. Somebody knew that right away. She's got some on yeah. right now. It's on. Pasties. That's how we roll. Oh my! You oh know yeah! What? Yeah! Yes! You know what? I'm not gonna lie. If I worked that yes. hard for that body, hey, I might hey, show it hey, off hey, like hey. that. Oh, you hey, can't eat the hey. flowers. No Look flowers. at Dante. Of course, no. I picked the psycho. I love it. Dante. <laughs> Get it, Dante. Oh, Dante, you got another flag on the play coming, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna vomit. <laughs> you shouldn't eat that. <laughs> so, so you'd love to have her on your show. Yes, yeah. She'd be interesting. She'd be a cool guest. I agree. We, if we get her, because it'll be with your help. I will. You... We are sending out a pigeon yeah. right now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Lil' Kim, you need Lil to Kim. do unqualified. Please. I did. It's amazing. I'll do it with you. Yeah. We'll all get on. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> pasties or no, we will accept you any I did way. pasties. Anything you want to wear. Yep. It's fine. Yep. Everyone is welcome. It's oh. all... That was Dante, too. It was Dante. Dante, Dante. you need to calm down, man. You I'm need to calm down, like Taylor Swift said. OK, hey, I, hear, I hear that you gave my producers a request. I did want to host your show for just a minute. Uh, well, we got to switch seats. I, all right. OK. Are you sure? You got to be in the host seat. You got to be in the host seat. OK, here we go. Oh, right. you're. OK. Is this one lower? <laughs> I feel like it's lower. <laughs> anyway. OK. Kelly, yes. thank you so much for being here. You know, it's a busy schedule, I, but no. I fit it in because I love you. No, thank yeah. you so much, truly. You're it's it's like, fine. I'm a huge fan. It's an honor that Ditto. you're here. So I have to ask you, I am exhausted doing one podcast interview, you know, a, a week. So you do this show every day. Well, my show. Every day. Yeah. And the <laughs> voice. What is your secret? I was just asked this, and I, I feel like it was around my mom, because my mom ended up saying, You've always been like this. Like in high school, I had like four jobs, and I was always doing stuff. Like at school, like student council, or and you know, a musical or something. And Dante's crazy. Um, <laughs> definitely, definitely oh. wants a, a rambunctious home. What was that your one. Favorite uh, musical? I did many, but I, I'd say my favorite was probably Seven Brides, Seven Brothers. I loved playing Millie. You know what it was? This is actually interesting. I've never told anybody this. Good job interviewing. Um, <laughs> I, I was doing Seven Brides um, uh, for Seven Brothers. One, it was one night, and um, it was double cast that year, and that had never happened in our time. And so the other cast got all the shows. We got, like, one. <laughs> I know. Anyway, but and we worked so hard, but we got to that one song, One Man, and it was actually the first time, because I grew up singing opera, it was the first time I found like my chest voice, my gut voice, like, and really started belting out. And it was like such a freeing moment. Wait, wait, what's the difference though? Um, it was like basically, oh, you know, sister act, you know, when she does the thing with the stomach, oh, happy day? So it's and like the like, diaphragm oh, difference. Yeah, it's just using all, it's, yeah, and it was just kind of switching gears for me from doing opera, and you have to be so perfect, and you have to be, it became less about perfection and technique and more about passion. And it was a really, really awesome moment for me. I felt like I was flying on stage. I've never told that story in my whole life. Wow. Never told that story. 
Well I done. I love that. Well I, done. I, I Are you looking for a co-host position? I still want, <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> and I still want to hear you sing it, but we can do that later. I know, I can't um, remember it. Okay, I'm 37. We'll, we'll, we'll work on this. Yes, <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. I just love that I look like Dr. Evil holding like a, the, you know. It's like, but just, he's on my team, I just this dog's you going. Home. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.